Well, when you are in a championship opportunity in the UFC strawweight division, you have really done something. Any of these women in the top 10 on any given Saturday night might be able to beat the champion. Her opportunity beckons here tonight. Yeah, she's a, a great fighter. And she has prepared herself to go and become the champion. Easier said than done. We all know that. But when you talk to this woman, she believes it's only a matter of time before she has that belt wrapped around her waist. But I don't know if she even understands how much life changes right. when that happens. She did say to us in the fighter meeting, though, I'm not blind to the fact that if I don't win tonight, I may never get another crack at the strawweight title. We'll see if she can maximize the move. So here's the longtime UFC veteran, Chinese star Yan Xiaonan. And it's interesting to hear her talk about walking into that UFC PI in Shanghai because there is so much love in her nation for Zhang Wei Li that Yan Xiaonan is okay accepting the heel role. She is okay being on the other side of that equation as long as she gets the title fight. And her body of work suggests to you that she is already deserving back-to-back -back wins over Mackenzie Dern and Jessica Andrade have entrenched her in the top five. And many believe, pound for pound, skill for skill, already, Yan Xiaonan is one of the very best strawweights in the world. Our tail of the tape now for this drawweight championship fight. All right, now for the official introductions. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Claudia Gadinha Gadelia! And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC strawweight champion of the world, Yashonan! All right, Herb Dean, third man in the octagon for this one. All right, so we are underway with this highly anticipated stand-up only clash. So these ladies got to play by the rules here tonight. No grappling whatsoever. Jiu-Jitsu fighters need not apply. You also can't do any follow-up strikes on the floor. Let's see who the last woman standing will be. Oh, the straight hand lands flush to the body by Gedalia. Straight punch is true. Oh, hook shot blocked there by Gedalia. All right, so about one minute into this fight, and if you're trying to bring new fans to the game, you're not showing them this one. This won't get it done. <laughs> These two young ladies are dancing around. This is not a dance competition. It's a fight. Somebody needs to go forward and start turning this into a fight. Well, the right hand has been there for her tonight at times. Not that time. Oh, that's bone on bone. Nicely done with the high kick. Just out of range with that left hook. Back and forth we go. There, probably her best strike of the fight. Her best strike, and you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class, but she lands, and she lands very effectively. Hands higher, hands higher. 
great job blocking that shot. Just over two minutes to go in the round. She lands a nasty jab. Telegraph that spinning back fist. Oh, spinning back fist for her out of nowhere. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Still stand. She's still standing, but she's got to get on the bike. She's got to get out to the center of the octagon. Find her space where she can evade her opponent from finishing. Oh! No gear shot. No gear shot. She won't sit through the She is such a diverse striker that that big strike landed, and it looks like she's going to finish this fight. Oh, my goodness. Uh, round two coming up next. All right, there's the end of the round. We told you off the top she has huge fight-stopping power. Two knockdowns in the round. Got to think there's plenty more where that came from once she gets back in there. As long as she's patient. If she gets overzealous, if she starts going headhunting, she will not find the shots that she found in the previous round. She's got to take her time, know and be patient, be confident in knowing that eventually the finish is going to come. You ready to fight? You ready? Second round here. Pretty good straight punch there by Yan Shao Nan. Nice, good. Throws the teeth. Nice combination there. Oh, combination striking at its best. Another great sequence out of her there. She is just throwing everything with so much confidence. Every time she throws, she believes that she is going to land. And to this point, she has done just that. Well, she's been good tonight, but she missed with that one. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Oh, is that a huge strike right there, DC? Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down and get another one off to finish the fight. Really finding the kicking range now. Another one lands there. All right, let's go. Nice jab there by Yan Shao Nan. She blocked the punch. Oh, I thought she was going to get tagged there. Instead, slips her head off the center line. Man, those boxing chops paying dividends for her tonight. I mean, the very last moment, she just makes a slight movement, and her opponent misses and finds herself really bad. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Well, her striking has been great tonight. Rocked her opponent pretty significantly, but... Oh, nice and just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. <laughs> there, probably her best strike of the fight. Her best strike of the fight. Weight class, but she lands and she lands very effectively. Gotta think she's gonna go hard in the paint. Oh! And that'll do it! Oh my goodness!
We now go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer to wrap it with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 31 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC strawweight champion of the world. Well, she came in as the undisputed queen of the 115 pounders, and Joe, that is exactly the way she goes out. There she is, and still UFC women's strawweight champion, and what a way to get the job done tonight. She gets the flush KO, and that is one celebration going on in that corner right now. An amazing moment.